to, uh, to one of your rear views, okay? Okay, Margaret, let's take a look at this uh, rear view that you've got me. Didn't quite get all of your stuff in there, but it's okay. I can catch up enough of the view for you. Let's put it in repeat cycle so that I can watch what's going on. I've looked at this quite a bit last night. And this is one view that we're really, really going to see an area that you're going to have to work on pretty hard. I want you to watch right out there when your ball moves away from your body on the downswing. It's okay, but whenever it comes into the forward swing, you're good here. Now when you get to the top, you see how your ball kind of flies away? See how far away from your body it is out here? It kind of bellies out to the right. Now as we come in, this is a tough, tough position to be in to be consistent. And so what we've got to do is we've got to position that ball more in here on this part of the swing closer in. Okay, and it's not a problem to do that. It's going to take quite a bit of work, but we can do it is to get everything more in line down this direction from your shoulder. So let's get that down there again, right there is where we're in a little bit of trouble. So we're going to have to, let me draw this down here again, this is going to have to be the area <coughs> of your arm. There's going to be some drills that you can do to get there to get your swing tighter and not so far bumped away. Okay, you get the idea? You got to feel like whenever we're coming down, down, that you're going to have to really, really focus on feeling like your arm swing is going to stay behind your back. You got to really, really, really think about this. As to this, this position, you're going to have to feel like everything's over this way. Okay, it's going to be kind of tough to do, but see how it starts to move out. Now a lot of that comes because you drift right. You see how your your left foot is coming down and look at your left foot. Which way is it going to go? It's going to start pushing to the right from down here. And that's where the real, the initial problem starts out. It comes over here. And it's drifting right, right, right. Whoa, it's really going, it's really going, it's really going. So now you've got this big gap in here that's created because of your big drift. You've got to get up to that foul line, turn around and take a step back and try to push straight down the board. You've got to come up here. I'll show you. I'll draw a line for you. It's going to be a big one for you. I'm glad you sent me your video because this is really going to help you. You've got to get your push foot down to where you can slide and not go right of that arrow. That would be where you want to end up to slide straight ahead. You see how your toe is turning right? It's turning right and it's going to head way over there. So that's probably a 10 board drift. When we get rid of that, that'll stop that arm from bumping out a little bit too much. Your left arm is great. You know, everything is great. You look fine right here. Don't have any issues up on the upper body. On this side, you're fine. <clears throat> You've got a really nice looking spine angle. What's that mean? That's your angle from your, from your shoulder to your tailbone, you know, down into here. That's okay. But this red arrow down here is, is creating the, the area that we need to look at right here. Now, that's, that's a problem. Now, here's a beautiful finish position. I love what's going on in your finish. That's fantastic. Okay, from here to here is where we got to really work on that right leg kind of getting out of the way too. You see how that right leg kind of stays back behind your left? What I'm talking about is here you're pushing off that right leg, but you've got to get it more left on the downswing. Not, nothing confusing, it's right here. You want to get this leg to, to kind of clear over here a little bit quicker. You do, but it's a little bit late. Okay, so in other words, what's happening is, is you're leaving it there, you're leaving that right leg there, but your left leg is the one going right. You see, so it's kind of opposite. Your slide foot's going too far right, and your right leg is staying where it's at. So it looks like you're in good shape right here, but you really aren't. So you got to slide up underneath you and then kick the right leg to the right. You have a gorgeous follow through. Congratulations, somebody or yourself. You have a wonderful follow through from here and you get great extension and you have great ball roll. We're, we're going to talk about that in just a second. But this is the concern. That ball is way too far away from our ankle and then it kind of closes back down 
and it causes you to pull the ball a lot. You're going to miss a lot, 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 lot to the left with this kind of swing direction. Okay? You may have to stand beside a wall uh, with your right shoulder beside the wall. And I did this in one of my tips of the week. And swing your arm back like this. So let's imagine that you're standing on a wall beside a wall on your right shoulder right here. Let me draw another one here. So there's a wall. You don't even have a ball. You're at home. Now, you just got your hand and your arm ready with no ball. Home. You push out and you come straight back. You'll go right down by that wall. You come to the top of the swing and guess where you can't go? Remember, you're at home with no ball in your hand. You can't go over there because you're going to whack the wall. You see? So if you can do that drill, stand by a wall, right shoulder, so your forward swing is great. You wouldn't even hit the wall. Take that ball, pitch your ball away. Beautiful. Look how that, look at that arm goes right straight down the line. Okay? Straight down the line. Straight up the line. Now, if you're by that wall, oh, you're going to get some bad knuckles right there. Okay? So that's a really good wall drill for you to do. Now let's, let's get rid of this blue line and put you in regular motion again. Let's look at your tempo. Pretty good, but you're too slow. You're really, you're really like plotting. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got to get some movement on those puppies going. Got to get those feet moving. You need ball speed. Got to have ball speed. Okay, and you get your feet moving and flowing with this beautiful, long, fluid swing that you've got and your wonderful release. Girl, you've got a release that's way over, way over 19200 for gals. Believe me, I've seen all the releases. But you've got to clean up this swing in the back and tighten it up a little bit. And look, look at your left leg now. You can see it in this video. Whoa, it goes way right. Watch it. Right. See how it really moves about 10 boards from there to there. So we got to clean up that bad drift you've got and go up to the file line, pick a board, and slide straight down the board. Let's stop right here. So if you're at this position right here, let's just say you're right there. Okay? And you want to keep your left toe straighter out. What's got to happen is, is you've got to not let this go any further then there. That's as far as you should go in your slide. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. See that over there? That's, that's five or six too far right. Everything's going to fall right and you're going to pull back left. You can, you can bowl this way, but you're going to be extremely inconsistent and especially on your spare games, girl. It's going to really be tough. Man, do you have a great wrist position and hand position though. I, you, you, your hand's behind the ball a lot better than me. Look how beautiful that is. I love your hand position right there. Believe me, I would give you a lot of information if it was bad, 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 but you've got a lot of good things going. Tempo is too slow. Your arm is bumping out, okay? We, you know we're going to beat you to death on that, but that's a big one. That's the biggest thing that you've got to get rid of right there is to do a slide drill and get that left leg to not drift or slide 10 boards to the right for probably where you start. So that's a big, big key. You really have great posture too, Margaret. I mean, you really, really do a nice fluid swing. I love how your ball just flows into the into the downswing. Boom! You have no muscle at all. You're very relaxed. And I'll tell you what: when you get this relaxed, gorgeous swing that you've got going with some speed on it, you know all heck's going to break loose down there with these pins because they like to be hit with some speed. And these bowling pins are not fearful of your ball speed. If you picked it up about another three quarters of a mile per hour and maybe get around it just a little bit more, I'm telling you, uh, something, something bad going to happen to those pins. But looking at this right here, I still have to say that your tempo needs to get faster. All of my thousands of hours of students and working with students, don't worry about missing your mark for a little bit during this, this mode. Don't worry about sacrificing accuracy for ball speed. Norm Duke will tell you, ball speed has got to be higher than accuracy, but they're both important, but you really got to have some ball speed. And let's get that swing tucked in.
Okay, let's slip on in here and uh, look at your release view, okay?